Introducing the Veo Lateral Access and Interbody Fusion System, Seeing is Believing. Veo is designed to bring clear and direct operative visualization to lateral fusion surgery. Place patient on a radiolucent breaking table and secure with tape. Identify the targeted disc. Make an incision and dissect down to the retroperitoneal space. VAO offers a two-stage retraction method, with stage 1 circumferentially retracting the soft tissue down to the psoas and stage 2 dedicated to retracting the psoas muscle. Insert dilator A down to the psoas muscle. Confirm positioning with fluoroscopy. Sequentially insert dilators B and C. Select the appropriate length tubular retractor and advance it over dilator C to the psoas. Secure it to the table-mounted retractor arm. Remove the dilators and insert the stadium mount light. Confirm retractor placement with fluoroscopy. Directly visualize the psoas muscle and associated nerves. Surgeons may also use neuromonitoring for nerve identification. Under direct visualization, gently split the psoas using a Penfield dissector or Cobb dissector, taking care to avoid the nerves. Insert a 90-degree nerve retractor through the split and retract the muscle posteriorly. Insert the first psoas retractor through the split and retract the psoas muscle anteriorly. As the muscle is retracted, maintain contact with the annulus and the vertebral body. Maintain gentle downward pressure on the psoas retractor and remove the 90-degree nerve retractor. A second psoas retractor should be inserted to retract the muscle posteriorly while maintaining the tip of the retractor in contact with the annulus. Maintain gentle pressure on both the anterior and posterior psoas retractors and insert the inner sleeve between the two retractors. Gently advance the inner sleeve down the tube under direct visualization until the rim of the sleeve is against the rim of the tubular retractor. Perform an annulotomy, discectomy, and end plate preparation as preferred. Use interbody trials to measure disc space, height, and depth. Insert the trial and gently advance it until the distal tip reaches the vertebral body's contralateral side. Confirm placement and remove the trial. Select the desired interbody and attach it to the cage inserter by aligning the prong of the inserter with the cage and inserting the bow tie tip. On the inserter, rotate the sleeve 90 degrees and the knob clockwise to secure. Pack the cage with autographed bone for interbody fusion. Utilizing fluoroscopy, insert the cage into the disc space and advance it until the middle marker is centered within the spinous process. Confirm cage placement prior to releasing it. To release the cage, rotate the knob counterclockwise and the sleeve 90 degrees while maintaining downward pressure. Remove the stadium mounted light and lift up on the arm of the inner sleeve to remove it from the surgical site. Gently remove the psoas retractors from the site one at a time. Obtain final AP and lateral images. Close the incision in a typical fashion. Veo Lateral Access and Interbody Fusion System. Seeing is Believing.